Well, shopping centres like this are not exactly crowded these days, and one reason is the internet. These kinds of places need to provide an experience in order to pull people off the online screen and into a customer experience. If they're not going to get that, it won't be enough to seize a, a competitive advantage over these online sites which are promising discounts of 10, 20, 30 or 40 percent over whatever the prices can possibly be in any of these stores right here. However, these stores have one big advantage over the online world. They deliver. They actually have the products in stock right now and the fastest way for me to get something is to walk from my home or even jump in a car, drive even 20 or 30 minutes, park the car, dash into a store, grab the product, and I've got it at home. You see, in the online world, we know that 30% of all online traffic is lost in the first 30 seconds of waiting for a web page to load. So you can also imagine that a significant element of online purchases are lost because it takes not three hours but three days to come. And even with delivery overnight, it's simply not fast enough for many people who want the bread right now. They want the CD right now, yes, even an old-fashioned CD, maybe because they like the cover and the product and they want to give it as a birthday present. Or they actually want a, maybe even a piece of software which is too big to download and they want it in their hands in the next 10 minutes. So in this kind of way, strangely enough, the faster and the more impatient our world becomes, the more physical shops do still have something to offer in addition to the customer experience. The big question is, will it be enough?